We're continuing on in Algebra 2. We're at 9.4. We're going to talk about the graph of the function of x equals ax squared and the function of x equals a times the square of the quantity x minus h. We have eight previous videos for this chapter. If you become lost or confused, you can try watching the video again, or you can click on this description and figure out which video might help you become less confused. A quadratic function is a function that can be described as the function of x equals ax squared plus bx plus c, as long as that a is not a zero. And graphs of quadratic functions are called parabolas. So this u-shaped thing is a parabola. And if we look at these different equations, we've got the function of x equals x squared in black, and it gets narrower when it equals 2x squared, and it gets wider when it equals half x squared. And this point right here is the vertex. See that? Right here at the origin. You can also look at this one. We've got negative values. We've got half x squared and negative half x squared and negative x squared and negative 2x squared. So they're below the x-axis. See that? All right. The graph of the function of x equals x squared is even because the function of x equals the function of the inverse of x for all x. So the y-axis is the line of symmetry. And it reflects perfectly across. See? The point 0, 0, right here, the origin, see? Where the graph crosses the line of symmetry is called the vertex of the parabola. For the function of x equals ax squared, by the theorem in video 9.3a, one of our previous videos, and it, it, it does have a link in this description, we know some things about its graph. And compared with the graph of the function of x equals x squared, if the absolute value of a is greater than 1, the graph is stretched vertically. If the absolute value of a is less than 1, it's shrunk vertically. If a is less than 0, it reflects across the x-axis. It's, it's saying it's if it's negative. It's below the x-axis. So just like these values were negative, we have a negative half x squared, a negative x squared, a negative 2x squared, it's below the x-axis. See that? We can graph the function of x equals 3x squared. Here we go, right here. The line of symmetry is the y-axis. See? And it reflects across it. The vertex is 0, 0, right at the origin, right here. The domain is negative infinity, infinity, because this is going to go on. It's got arrows, doesn't it? It's going to go on forever into negative infinity, and this is going to go on forever into positive infinity. See that? And the range is 0, infinity. See? That's the y value, isn't it? A short table of values will help us locate the points for the function of x equals 3x squared. So when it's at negative 1, the function of x is at 3. Let's go a little closer for you. See that? When it's at negative 1, the y value is at 3. That's the function of x. See that? When it's at 0, it's at 0, 0. When x is at 1, then the function of x is at positive 3. See that? We can make a little table. So just remember, there's a lot of different names for these, but the function of x would be the y. See? That's the domain, the input, the x-coordinate. That's the range, the output, the y-coordinate, the function of x. OK? All right. In the function of x equals x squared, we replace x with x minus h. And by the theorem we learned in video 9.2b, there's a link to that one too, if h is positive, the graph will be translated to the right. And if h is negative, the translation is to the left. The line, or axis of symmetry, and the vertex will also be translated the same way. So for the function of x equals a times the square of the quantity, x minus h, the axis of symmetry is x equals h. And the vertex is h0. Let's take a look at these two graphs. We've got the function of x equals 2x squared, and we've got the function of x equals 2 times the square of the quantity x plus 3. What's happening here is our vertex is at 0, 0, and our line of symmetry is the y-axis. 
But for this one, for this equation, our vertex is at negative 3, 0, and our line of symmetry is now negative 3. See that? Isn't that amazing? And we can graph the function of x equals negative 2 times the square of the quantity x minus 1. And we get the line of symmetry from the equation x minus 1 equals 0. We can add the 1 to each side of the equation to get x equals 1, so our line of symmetry is x equals 1. And the vertex is 1, 0. See? And our parabola is opening downward. See that? And we can tell whether a graph is above or below the x-axis without graphing it because of this rule right here. If negative, it's below the x-axis. So we could just look at it and say, okay, that's a positive, that's above. That's a negative, that's below. That's a negative, that's below. That's a positive, that's above. See? And what our little friends are saying, for the function of x equals x squared and the function of x equals ax squared, they're going to have the same line of symmetry in vertex. And if you see something like the function of x equals x to the third power minus x to the second power, that's not a quadratic function. You have to be careful because this x to the third minus x squared would just give us x. With the little invisible one exponent, it would just be x. That's not a quadratic function. It's got to be x squared to be quadratic, doesn't it? So be careful. Our next video is 9.5a. And we're going to talk about graphs of the function of x equals a times the square of the quantity x minus h plus k. I'm going to add this video to the Algebra 2 playlist. I'm going to have links to Algebra 1 back in Chapter 12 where it talked about relations and functions. And this one talked about graphing functions. And there'll be links to the previous eight videos that we've talked about so far in Chapter 9. All in this description, so you can just click on them, all right? So I hope you're having a great day. I want to thank my patrons on Patreon.com. I really appreciate you. I just wanted to give you a shout-out and say thanks. And hopefully soon I'll get to a point where I can completely support myself. And I'll see you next video. Thanks again. Bye.